Now you guys probably know this already, Activision Blizzard do not support the Steam Deck in any official capacity as of right now. But there was an issue recently where users were having an issue with Battle.net, the launcher for Blizzard, Activision Blizzard games on PC, on Linux specifically, and an update that came out for it basically broke the entire Activision Blizzard game launcher. Well, somebody brought it up in the Activision Blizzard forums and what do you know? Activision Blizzard actually responded and their response may surprise you. Let's get into it. This is good news for the Steam Deck, good news for Linux. Let's get into it on Blaze DK. Please like, drop the subscribe, click the bell icon, and maybe consider clicking the thanks button or becoming a member by clicking join if this video helped. Anyways, guys, let's get into it. So guys, this article came courtesy of Gaming on Linux, a great website for all the latest, greatest news on Linux and gaming specifically on Linux. But Blizzard, as we know, don't officially, does not officially support the Steam Deck or Linux, but they still fix issues for it. Now, recently there was an upgrade to the Battle.net client, which if you don't know, is the game launcher for Activision Blizzard games on PC and technically Linux. Even though it's not supposed to run, it doesn't natively run. But it caused it to break on Linux and Steam Deck, um, but the issue has been solved. Now, if you don't know, you can run Windows apps, you can run Windows games on standard Linux using something called Wine. It's not an emulator for Windows applications or games. It's a compatibility layer, which basically it, it translates Windows software to Linux. Um, and most people use it to play video games, run applications that are windows specific like photoshop or something or maybe microsoft office i mean it's really handy it's been active for years people they update it on a regular basis and obviously now there's proton db for the steam deck which is ran by valve and the purpose is to basically try and um support every single game on the steam library on linux as well as their own version of linux steam os so yeah, as we know, Linux isn't supported by Blizzard officially in any official capacity, but that doesn't stop them from fixing major issues every now and again. Just nine days ago, an update was released for the Battle.net launcher, it broke the launcher on the Linux operating systems that use Wine as that compatibility layer or Proton. Basically, people couldn't play their games that they paid for on Linux, um, and it's a shame that no testing's been done for Linux and Steam Deck before updates are rolled out, but they are. They are more aware of it now than they were in the past. Uh, the user that was having issues on Linux using Wine um, and Proton basically posted on the Battle.net or the Blizzard.com forums. And what do you know? An employee of Activision Blizzard, Joy Joy Nuir, um, responded. Who works for customer support? They said, "Howdy, everyone. I do apologize. We didn't post here sooner, but the the development teams were aware that a recent change did cause havoc with Wine and the software used for Steam Deck, and this wasn't intended. A fix was deployed, and it appears to be working now. If you're still having issues, please try to reinstall the app so it fully updates to the twenty the eighty twenty build. So yes, Activision Blizzard are more aware than ever that people do play games on Linux, whether it's using Wine as a compatibility layer or on Steam Deck using Pro." on um so that is great news for those of us those of us linux or steam deck users right i'm going to go into a little bit of a story time here and tell you about an issue i had with a game called f122 which is a racing game um it was it's made by codemasters and electronic arts recently just purchased codemasters so you know where i'm going with this right ea isn't the best when it comes to after sales support well basically they marked f122 on steam as steam deck playable they did it not valve not steam ea went out their way to mark it as playable on the steam deck all right so just a couple of weeks ago i purchased it to play on the steam deck it's marked as playable it was on sale i snapped it up and lo and behold when i launched up the game it didn't work. It wouldn't even go past the, the boot screen, right? Which was frustrating. I was like, well, it's marked as playable. I bought it. I spent money on it just to play on the Steam Deck because they advertised it as playable on the Steam Deck. Well, apparently this issue had been going on for a while. It'd been going on for three weeks up to that point. And um, basically, people were buying this game and not able to play it because an update that EA or Codemasters released broke the game on Linux and Steam Deck. And... They weren't doing nothing about it. They literally weren't doing nothing about it. They well, I'll, I'll admit they did come out and say we're we're in discussion with Valve over over this issue. We know what's happening, um, but they, you know, this this is this had been going on for weeks and they hadn't done anything about it. But thankfully, there was an experimental build of Proton that came out that 
thankfully resolved the issue. So I did eventually manage to get F1 working on the Steam Deck and oh my God, it's so good. It's a game that I play on the Steam Deck all the time. This, if anything, is a good sign that maybe developers, studios, publishers are all gonna take Linux, gaming on Linux, a little bit more seriously and be aware that when they do push out updates for games that they maybe have to test on Linux using Wine or Proton just to make sure that it doesn't break anything. Um, and like I said, this is going to be good news for Steam Deck users, right, that want to play games exclusively on SteamOS because not everybody feels like installing Windows on their Steam Deck. Although I have, and please subscribe for my up-to-date tutorial on how to install Windows to a micro SD card and run it on the Steam Deck. It's great and it allows you to access all your Windows games, Game Pass, you name it. But yeah, um, let me know what you think down below. Is this good news for, for Linux users? Are you a Linux user? Do you use Linux on your gaming PC or your laptop? top um i know you probably use it on the steam deck because the steam deck ships with its own version of linux but yeah let me know down below i think this is good news guys for the steam deck it's good news for linux players steam deck players you name it and um kudos kudos for it's due to activision blizzard for for acknowledging there was an issue with their launcher on on linux and the steam deck and kudos to them for fixing it um anyways guys i'm blaze okay thank you for being here if you want to show show your support in any way you can please do click the join button become a member um i stream every day at 3 p.m eastern time click the thanks if this video helped or if you liked it um down below or follow me on twitter like subscribe and comment bye guys Oh.